to talk about, um, you probably have music that you've already downloaded and you want to play. Well, if you didn't know where I got the music from, there's a playlist. I mean, there's a video on that, and at this point, there should be an eye up on the window somewhere, or maybe in the description of a video that I did earlier of where you can get free music. But, um, I already have this program installed, but you just go to um, this website, which I'll have it in the description of this video as well, um, and you just click on the link, and you just download this and install it. And it's a pretty interesting um, player. You can also uh, listen to music. You can also um, listen to, um, you know, burn CDs, stuff like that with it. Um, this is the only problem I know that right now, currently, that works on my computer. So we're going to make a playlist for it, for music. This music is the music I was talking about earlier. So all you're going to do is you're going to, I really made a folder for my live streaming and stuff and everything else. So you're going to drag all these into this player here. And there you go. You got a, a playlist that everyone can hear. It tells you how long it is, so it's about an hour long. Oh. This one shouldn't have been deleted. That's okay. We'll just delete now. I deleted it out of the playlist, so it won't. But so it's a little less. If I had chicken, a lot of these are new ones. So that's one thing you need. And you're just going to go up to um, save it to a playlist. And what I'm going to do, normally I have it in, I have a whole bunch of playlists in here, but because I'm doing this a new video, I'm going to go to my video file, I'm going to go live streaming, and I'm just going to do um, new this. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to save it with the music. So then, anytime I want to play the music, I just click on that. Or, if I want to add more music into it, you just add more music into it. And, um, you can make a folder for the music and then put this inside of here. Uh, which I actually might be a good idea. Um. Or, I'm going to just move this out here. It will still keep the music because it knows where it is. See what I'm saying? So that's how you make a playlist. Now, that's, I guess I'll talk about it now too. There's another program called Snippet. Okay? Snippet is a program um, to ASCII overlay in live streams. Okay? Now I have an old live stream folder here with Snippet in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back on mine here. And so I'll just make a new window. And I'm gonna put in Snippet. And you're gonna go to you're gonna go to this place right here. You can get the newest version. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that, you can unzip it. It's gonna be a zip file that you need to unzip. Once it downloads into your download folder, you're gonna double click on it. And you're gonna pretty much you're gonna unzip it. So you're gonna go open um didn't unzip so I did it. No. Um so what you're gonna do, depending on what version of micro uh, version of computer you have, you're gonna go um extract zipper. No. Oh, extract all. <laughs> and what we're going to do is I'm going to browse it to the location where I want it to be stored. So with me, it's going to be under my video file, under live streaming, right here. So it's going to be in here. I could put it in the music, but I think I'm just going to put it here. 
So we're going to select that folder and then hit extract. Now I think it might just extract them all. No, it didn't. So then it extracted into this file. Then you have to set up the snippet. Unfortunately, you won't be able to set it up until later on. Um, I actually crashed on the program I was using the video. Um, but yeah, so once you do get it all set up, you will be able to um, use Snippet. It's a very good program. Um, has this arc thing next to it. That's just a thing it, it sets up when you do configure it right. Um, I don't know if it will let me configure it when I'm doing a video like this. Because I did stop what last time I was doing the kind of some of the video. Um, but yeah, so if you double click on this, it'll extract and it'll do all the framework. Um, down here at the bottom, now you can see um, I have two it looks like. So these are how you set it up. And you, you can only use certain programs, like you can use uh, Spirefly, iTunes, RIM, and then VPL, which is the one I'm using now. And the nice thing is you can actually display whatever you want to display on the, on the, on the stream on the next video. So yeah, that's about how you use um, Snippet and also downloading um, um, the music player. And I think that that is going to conclude this episode as well. So the next episode, the next video, will be a exciting one. I hope you guys are ready for it. Because it's going to be exciting to see what you guys think of OBS Studio. That's the next video. Alright, bye bye for now.